Welcome back to the second game between running and vodka. Uh, running, playing as the Khmer here, and vodka in blue seems to like is Britons. He went for that uh, again. Players are really close, and they have terrible wood lines. Like here on the right hand side, now vodka is destroying those walls. Uh, that was the initial lumber camp. The other one on the left hand side, pretty far away. And also for running, not really good. One lumber camp here on the other side. He pretty much doesn't have a wood line. He can go there later on. But that's not really looking good. As the Khmer, uh, he went up to cast age quite fast, of course not needing any buildings, stables up, monasteries up, and he went for scouts here, even light calf. Uh, they arrived at fuel age at exactly the same time, but of course uh, running clicked up to cast age then immediately. TC coming up on the main gold for vodka, that's quite forwardish actually, the main gold, second stone forward outside, third gold on the right hand side, forward outside, or in the middle actually, main stone forward, only the second gold safe in the back, TC coming up in the back on the wood line, another TC on the main gold, so three TCs up and running, and uh, we have uh, Running, actually collecting the relics, doesn't really matter where they are as long as he's got that map control. And uh, running, going with uh, TC on the wood line here in the back, close to the main stone. Could have gone one tile close, I would have preferred to see this, but okay. Main stone quite safe in the back, main gold quite safe in the back, second gold safe in the back. Only third gold and second stone are forward outside. That's one relic now in the monastery already. It takes some time to collect all of those, the monk needs to go back here. But of course running is focusing on the boom now and there's a 30c up on the woodland in the back here so they are really close but no aggression happening early on we have vodka with 670 stones sitting here and is going for a castle in front of his main tc i'm really surprised about that one maybe he's afraid that uh, running will be uh, able to click up to imperial age faster and then trip down his castle but still he could have gone aggressive here if he would be able to go out or at least put the castle forward maybe it's actually a better choice i'm uh, starting to like that castle. It's not protecting the main gold, which might be a problem, but it's protecting the second gold and most Reason? of his farming economy. So we'll be fine here. Svodka giving up on the relics, giving Ready. up on map control completely. He is with 72 against 64 villagers. Running, of course, a little bit behind in the villager numbers, but look at this. That's just beautiful. Khmer farming, you can farm wherever you want, and it's running always on the way up to Imperial Age first. He won't have enough stone for a castle. Uh, Khmer were nerfed some time ago, losing the bombard cannons, but but they do get sea tramps and I think with the siege engineer so pretty much fully upgraded. Archer range is coming up, Arbalest will also be fully upgraded over could just see elite skirmishers and doesn't have a barracks, doesn't have a blacksmith, this is just something so important. You usually should go with a blacksmith in castle age before clicking up to imperial age because you want to go for fletching or something like that immediately and that just took too much time. Running with very good resources, Wodka of course also on the way up to imperial age and what's the plan here, he's got double barracks doing pikemen he's expecting to see cavalry units maybe and that's the castle coming up forward for running and Wodka was actually correct in expecting an earlier imperial age for running so i guess the castle was in a decent position or still is in a decent position uh, mangonel and uh, one plus one mangonels on the siege workshops do we see trebuchet from running yes immediately the light cap without upgrades but still on the field still uh, still able to Bye. use them elite skirmishes and two monks of course that collected all the relics and now it's going to be interesting to see how what guy's going to react in early imperial age against the trebuchet he's going for chemistry already no that's running actually not quite sure why he's doing chemistry maybe go just for run, skirmishes yeah. because bombard cannons are a no-go here and two trebuchets to hit the siege workshops take them down first i guess he cannot see the castle yet Villager numbers looking good for both, Vodka ahead still, and a second castle coming up for running, so he's going for a big portion of map control here. What is the plan here for Vodka? He's going with the pikemen. I guess he'll the upgrade coming in soon. Uh, economy upgrades on the way, Onager upgrade once again. He is skipping Arbalest or even Longbowman, and now there's the trebuchets, three of them counter-attacking, and you can see it here that one trap from, uh, what, from running is going down. Four traps to hit the castle very soon. Warwolf on the way. Very important upgrade here. And I think uh, playing defensive with the trebuchets to hit those forward castles probably was a good idea. Looks like running was not expecting this, even though he should have expected. And running expected, Ar uh, expected like yeah, Arbalest or something. Run, yeah. And there is nothing like it on the field. Of course, elite skirmishes will be decent against those okay. pikemen. But still, the onagers on the field will make sure that elite skirmishes are looking quite poor. Onager upgrade also done for running here. 
I still would like to see siege rams, but as long as Vodka is at home with his trebuchet and is able to attack from inside his base, he will be fine. Ultra fights here happening, obviously. Okay. The helmet are moving back, and as the trebuchet is left, the castle definitely going down, even though there's six witches repairing it. But the counter trap is coming in too late. Ooh, the Onager could do damage. Castle mm -hmm. going down with the last shot, and now there's that castle coming up in front of the TC that almost went down here in front of the main gold. Barracks coming up, even more of them. We could see a transition into standard infantry or maybe even elite skirmishes also for Vodka. They will be very strong, of course. And we have Running trying to keep his map control, but he lost two castles already. And that's quite expensive. Running with decent resources, Bye. going for more stables now to get Hussars in. But that's a move that uh, Vodka probably anticipated. He's got those Helmeteers. Not quite sure what the Hussars are doing here. I don't really like the choice. I would prefer to see, like, maybe see Trams and Helmeteers even from from Vodka, or uh, now standard infantry from Khmer is not that good, I guess. It looks like yeah, Britons have an advantage here somehow, as long as there's not sea trams on the field. And even then, you have Onagers and Helvidias, that's like a classic, let's say, Kelt combination. Yeah. And looks like it's uh, working quite well. Now, Bombard Cannons would be really nice to have for the Khmer, but this is not happening, of course. And uh, we're going yeah, to see Onagers from both sides. We're going to see Hussars and Elite Skirmishes against Helvidias, pretty much. And no, no, now no. there's the long run production start. Two castles from Vodka is actually stopped producing, but he can transition if he wants to. And as long moment, uh, if fully upgraded to 12 range, will be able to snipe on it just at only have 9 range. We have a lot of upgrades coming up for uh, Vodka as well. Elite Skirmish is moving forward, actually, Trebuchet is staying behind now. And I guess it's going to be a lot about army numbers because we're going to see a lot of trash units. We probably won't see Ballista Elephants, which I, which I, which I would have loved. We won't see Elephants, uh, Battle Elephants here from running as there's Helblades on the field already and they're way too expensive. And now Nice split move wow. with the lead skirmishers, Hussar is moving in, and we're going to see a clash of trash units now once again. We have trebuchets behind that Onager fights, one for nothing here, good for running, but uh, there's another Onager shot coming in, one for nothing this time for Vodka. Yeah, and the Hussars went down yeah. really fast, Helmet is moving forward, and that's the big advantage. Helmet is are able to take down on it just quite fast, wow. even though they lack the attack power. Only 8, that's not really a lot. But uh, they're able Robot to approach, and the elite skirmishes, they are yeah. technically yeah. counter, but they're not as fast in wow. taking on Helmet as the Helmet are in taking on on The Hussars are going to help, but yeah, those Helmet are quite annoying. And we might see Heavy Scorpions as uh, a last idea, as a last resort here for uh, running. Uh, he's got a lot of gold in the bank, he doesn't really know what to do with that. So maybe Heavy Scorpions would be an option against the Halberdiers, obviously. Even against Nightcap they will be decent. Onagers, of course, are a problem there. But a mix of Onagers and uh, Heavy Scorpions, plus the Hussars, plus a few Elite Skirmishers in the bag if needed. That would be quite a decent army composition. In this case, the uh, Trebuchet on 5 HP and running did go run, back yeah. too early. That's not good, Halberdiers taking only Hussars pretty much for free. Trebuchets are uh, getting unpacked to attack, I don't know, something probably. Maybe just to have them on the field. And it looks like Vodka is slowly taking map control. Taking his third gold, could go for the extra gold and stone on the right hand side without too much trouble. The stone for now belonging to Vodka. We have stables coming up on the right hand side, running with low on food. Uh, actually, Vodka low on gold, but he's spending a lot of resources and the military numbers looking really good for him. Population wise, is ahead by like 16, 15, 16. And a castle coming up in a really forward position. If this one is going up, Vodka might be able to take it right from there. 42 minutes in, the Halvideas are doing damage and I'm a little bit surprised that uh, Running didn't go for his own helps because it's like, it doesn't really sound uh, reasonable but help against help will be okay-ish. You will be able to produce a lot of them, they are cheap and uh, you will be able to take on the honor chest like your opponent is doing uh, the same to your honor chest. You have elite skirmishes and hustles on the field as well, you could go for heavy scorpions. Helvidia might have been a good addition. Like this, uh, we have Vodka with low gold, low food, but a lot of military and a push. And running is sitting on 2k5 gold, doing nothing with that. He did not go for sea traps, which would not make sense now. But he didn't also go for heavy scorpions or maybe even standard yeah. infantry, even though it's not good for the Khmer. the missing champion. So, yeah, that's not really the way to play this. Vodka is going for a really nice push, skipping the go-to unit, which is some archer unit for the Britons. Going for a siege especially the trebuchets, very important, and helps, in this case, onagers and trebuchets, plus help here a few light cap against the elite skirmishes. Yeah. And I think we might see running call it very soon. 43 minutes in, uh, population-wise, 156, running is still okay. Now it looks like Vodka is getting his uh, bank up a little bit. He's taking uh, running's third gold even. 
He's got full map control and we see a castle here on the far end of uh, running space but to the front here pretty much nothing and this could be the GG really soon. I'm going to move uh, we'll go for a little bit faster, move that game forward because unless running is able to like really go for a big counter push which I don't see. It's got 32 military units but where are they actually? Uh, this game should be over very soon. Capram's now attacking the gate because what guy's saying, hey, you have an economy in there, I want to see it, I want to take it down. Uh, of course there is Hassa still and the gate is on 600 HP left, but Trebuchets will be able to take it down really fast now the hell is have a free way in. That castle is keeping some of the economy here together, but there is Helbidus moving forward against the honor chest. There is Lightcap following up. There is a castle coming up forward as well. The Trebuchet is doing damage. Even Caprams on the field now. Vodka is using everything he can get, like now to take down buildings faster. And I think the Capram addition is not bad, even though you're usually not going for that at the unit. But to take down buildings or even Trebuchets, as it uh, looks like Vodka is sending them now to attack the traps. It's a good idea you sh uh, to when you're ahead and when you have some resources to spend. The castle from Vodka probably falling with that last uh, shot, actually. No, he's keeping it up, very important. And this might be one reason to call the GG, as the castle from running is definitely going down. Too many trebuchets attacking everything, okay. cap rams as well. And there it is, there's the GG coming in. Vodka this time with the pretense with maybe a uh, really good, but unconventional strategy. Is that a word? And in the end, winning the game against the Khmer here. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. See you in the next games. GG.